believe it or not, despite majority of the Combat Pack 2 DLC being data mined via the Mortal Kombat 1 PC version of the game by not one, two, three, four, five, several different trusted sources in the community, some people still think that the Ghostface leaks via the intro dialogue aren't real and Ghostface won't be featured in the Combat Pack 2 DLC sometime. I guess you can say in like a year or so after the Combat Pack 1 characters do get released, which seems to probably be around April or so of next year. So summer 2024, KP2 will probably be announced. And again, most of everything has already been leaked via data mining, but people were still questioning it. But late last night, the man who created Mortal Kombat, the head at Netherm Studios, pretty much, I think, put the nail in the coffin when it comes to if this supposed source code is legitimate or not, because uh, you can see right here, there's a certain face of a ghost dead center near the bottom there that uh, Ed Boon's kind of teasing along with not only Ghostface, but Jigsaw, Chucky, Hellraiser, and Michael? What? So we got that to break down today. Before we get into that, though, I want to say a big shout out to today's sponsor. This video is sponsored by Omni Heroes. As Omni Guardians, players are called upon to rescue the captive Valkyries from demons and fight together against evil threatening the world. Players can summon forth legendary heroes, unlock multiple synergies, and match hundreds of team comps at will. Now, a brand new storyline in Battlefields awaits with powerful new characters making their debut. Prepare to embark on a chilling underwater adventure with the newly introduced event map dubbed Echoes of the Deep. Set sail with Tide's Cadence. This map offers three challenging difficulty levels, ensuring that players of all levels can participate. As players progress through the stages, they'll accumulate valuable points, which they can then exchange for fantastic rewards, including the coveted mermaid skin, available exclusively in the event shop. By logging in continuously during the event, players can unlock Glorious Valkyrie Marina for free. This is a fantastic opportunity for players to enhance their hero roster. Marina's also joined the Valkyrie Manor with another exclusive skin. Ready to see her in a new light beyond the battlefield? Get ready to swoon as popular characters Dora Bella and Ayushtha don fashionable swimsuit skins. These eye-catching skins are not just stylish, but they also come with a unique skill effect, captivating visuals that are sure to impress all throughout your battles. And guess what? You can confront a new boss. As this event unfolds, a formidable new boss is making waves. Rally your heroes and challenge this powerful adversary to reap the ultimate rewards. Download Omni Heroes now and dive deep into a world of chilling adventure. All participants in this new event can claim a free Valkyrie hero and unlock the stunning new swimsuit skin. But that's not all. The Omni Hero 777 Summons event is still in full swing, ensuring that new players can also enjoy the exhilaration of 777 Summons. If you are interested in checking out Omni Heroes and this all new event currently taking place, feel free to click the link in the description down below or scan the QR code on the screen right now. Again, thank you so much Omni Heroes for sponsoring today's video. Okay, the reason why you clicked on this video, what the hell is going on with Ghostface for Combat Pack 2 now? At this point in time, you guys do know, like, disclaimer, things are always subject to change, especially when it comes to, like, guest characters in Mortal Kombat. Just recently, going back to the days of Mortal Kombat 11, most of you guys are aware, Ash Williams from The Evil Dead was pretty much all but confirmed to be a thing, was found in the source code. There was a chainsaw sound effect at the end of the Shang Tsung gameplay reveal trailer. Everything aligned to Ash Williams finally finally, being in Mortal Kombat, but some type of legal issue got in the way. Don't know if it was like a disagreement about the money or the rights or exactly what happened, but long story short, the Army of Darkness, which was featured in several trademarks in Mortal Kombat 11, the Army of Darkness version of Ash that we were scheduled to get was canceled and replaced by Joker in the combat pack for Mortal Kombat 11. So keep that in mind. Despite the intros that seem to tease this guy right here. There's no guarantees in life, but regardless, Boone came out and put the dragon emoji and the thinking face emoji, again, 
seemingly teasing that we've already got Leatherface right here. We had Leatherface in Mortal Kombat X, we had Jason in Mortal Kombat X, we had Freddy back in Mortal Kombat 9. When it comes to the other giant horror slasher stars, there's a few left that haven't been featured in Mortal Kombat, those being Michael, Hellraiser, Jigsaw, Ghostface, and Chucky. Now, based on the intro dialogue from what we've data mined, this guy right here seems to be the clear-cut favorite to be featured in the combat pack too. However, some people do think that Jigsaw does stand a chance. Now, obviously, nothing is, again, 110% concrete, but based on the intro dialogues that were found in the PC version of Mortal Kombat 1 source code, there seems to be some type of character wielding a knife and wearing a cloak that has a bunch of dialogues with the entire roster that, again, all but kind of confirm Ghostface. Some people think these dialogues confirm Jigsaw from the Saw franchise, but... I don't think it's Jigsaw. I really don't. There's really just like one intro that kind of would reference maybe Jigsaw potentially, but most of these kind of go in the same vein for something that Ghostface would be referred to as. Now, first things first, I want to say shout out to the Thinny for piecing this together. Go follow Thinny on all social platforms, YouTube, Twitter, but here's a list of a few of these references that were found in the data mining of the Mortal Kombat 11 source code. Excuse me, 11? MK1 source code. Ghostface references. First things first, Takeda. Takeda says, A mask and a cloak don't scare me. And this unnamed character in the Combat Pack 2, of course, has nothing to say because they're hiding that from us. Then we have Takeda here saying, You're not evil. You're crazy. Then we have Omni-Man saying, Fuck movies, nothing beats a good buck. Don't get much oxygen in that mask, do you? So again, by all accounts, somebody with a cloak and a mask. You see... The options here are kind of limited, especially when you consider the recent tease from Ed Boon last night. Omni Man goes on to say, What's your plan, trick-or-treating? Again, you know how everybody around Halloween is just rocking the ghost face attire. I don't see any jigsaws on Halloween, but what I do see is the Scream mask every single year. Not one, not two, not three, a million of them. Omni Man says, I'm not here to play some stupid game. So that's where people think that maybe it's a reference to Jigsaw, because you guys, you know, Jigsaw is all about playing games and putting these people through these crazy various tasks and challenges. If you want to play a game. However, you guys do know, the first fucking Scream movie, it opens with him playing a game and asking about Homegirl's favorite scary movie. So, again, I can kind of see where people think this is for Jigsaw, you know, reference to that. But, again, now I, I, I'm not buying it. Omni Man says, takes more than a mask and a knife to scare me. So again, mask, cloak, knife, all descriptions of you know who, Ghostface. Peacemaker and this unnamed guest character from the Comic Pack 2, and not if all you've got is a knife. Again, knife. Like I give you the pleasure, fuck nut. You wear a mask because you're butt ugly. The cloak and dagger act is bullshit. So again, cloak, mask, dagger, or a knife. Doesn't really give Jigsaw just one intro mentioning a game, and that's it. Out of this entire list of guest characters and horror icons I love to see featured in Mortal Kombat, obviously the main one would be Michael Myers. Michael Myers, uh, no offense to Hellraiser, Jigsaw, Ghostface, and Chucky. There's levels to this, and Michael is, is, is way at the top. You know what I mean? Michael is way at the top. Some people always be like, oh, Michael would fight just like Jason. No! Not at all. This is the exact same game giving us two Superman clones, right? Superman clones in Homelander and Omni-Man, which are going to fight completely different. So I do think Michael would not fight like Jason if he was in a Mortal Kombat game, but I just don't think they're going to get that licensing. I, I really don't. I know in the past, I think it's been pretty much confirmed. They tried and tried and tried all throughout the recent Halloween reboot series and franchise, and it's just never come to fruition for some reason. However... Ghostface, well, Ghostface is in everything. He's in Call of Duty, Dead by Daylight. Ghostface is everywhere. So, again, same can be said for Michael, but they've tried. I don't know if they've ever truly tried for Ghostface. And some people, I think, are going to be kind of upset about it being Ghostface and not Michael. But I think, based on the description we're seeing from the intros, based on this tweet right here, I think Boone pretty much just knows that we know what the Combat Pack 2 is going to be. 
And he's just playing some mind games here, making us think that maybe we're going to get Michael Myers rocking a cloak, which I don't think has ever happened. Uh, Hellraiser does have a cloak, but he doesn't wear a mask. Jigsaw does wear a mask, and I guess kind of a cloak at times, maybe. But again, I I'm, not, I'm not buying it. Definitely not Chucky. Definitely not Chucky. I will say this, though. I will say this, though. Um, for those who are wanting some of these other horror icons who aren't necessarily fans of the Scream franchise and Ghostface, because trust me, I understand Ghostface is just a dude with a voice changer and a knife and, a, and no supernatural abilities. I feel you. I get you completely. In a game like Mortal Kombat, you need some supernatural strength, which I'm sure they're going to give to this guy. I'm sure they're going to take some liberties and make Ghostface spooky and magical and different have some teleports and shit, they're gonna take some liberties and make it work. I will say this, we have confirmation that we are gonna be getting potentially some guest cameo fighters that was leaked in marketing in Brazil just a few weeks ago. So, I will say, I would not be surprised if the likes of even a Jigsaw or a Chucky, who are unconventional, and if we do get just like the actual doll Jigsaw, like riding the bike <laughs> into frame, that would be cool. And speaking of like tiny, you know, guests, there's Chucky. From a size ratio, obviously, it's not really common to have characters that are a lot smaller than the most of the cast. I think it was like Soul Calibur 4, 5 had Yoda. And that was probably just like a hitbox balancing nightmare with them already having the player one advantage situation. I don't know if Netherm Studios wants to have a main fighter be like two feet tall like Chucky. You can't have a little doll fighting up against the likes of Sub-Zero, like, you just can't. However, you could probably have this small dude be a cameo fighter, because again, that's a lot easier to balance than some guy like Yoda back in Soul Calibur running around the bottom of the screen. So, I will say this, I do think Boone knows that we know about the Combat Pack 2, which all but confirms this man right here, Ghostface, when it comes to guests that are confirmed so far, or leaked, I should rather say. Um, but I do think there is still a chance for Michael. I always think there's a chance for that. Same with Hellraiser. Uh, but based on the information, I do think Ghostface will be confirmed 110% soon once the Comic Pack 1 ends. And I do think there's a really big chance to see Jigsaw and Chucky as cameo fighters. I think that would be probably universally well-liked. It'd be unique, it'd be different. When we look at the cameo roster right now, we have the likes of like a Mataro who is bigger in stature and size. So why can't we have somebody smaller? And I do think both Jigsaw and Chucky have a lot of potential. I think that's something I would really be a fan of and could get behind. So... Boone's teased in the past, a horror pack. Why not have a horror pack between maybe these three on the bottom right here? Hell, give us Michael. Never say never. We do know it seems like He-Man or Conan or something is going to be the other guest character. When it comes to the Comic Pack 2 DLC, there's like a mysterious woman. There's the likes of Noob Cybot. Cyrax is gender swapped. Seems like Sector. If you missed my video breaking all that stuff down, I have a card on the screen right now. So we know pretty much most of the Combat Pack 2 in some type of Combat Pack 3 or other pack. You never know. But I do think Boone is aware that we already seen the leaks and is just trying to play a game here, pun intended, and keep us on our toes. But guys, it is what it is. I think Ghostface is in the, you know, in the plans. And I do think that at the very least, Chucky and Jigsaw could probably be cameo guest characters in the future. I'm always hoping for Michael. I'm always hoping for Michael. How do you have these guys up here, but not Michael? Like, Michael's the last one we really need. Hellraiser's cool, but, um, I don't know. Is there really a demand for Hellraiser? I do think the, you know, watching him levitate like Kronika across the screen and the chains and stuff would make for a really interesting play style. I can get behind that. So all these options are great, but I truly do think we're probably just gonna get Ghostface and maybe Chucky as a cameo guest character. These other three, I would be shocked, but I would be welcoming. So guys, there you go. Boone is teasing the leaks. Does this confirm the leaks? I think it does. I think this tweet right here from last night does confirm that we're getting at least one of these in some capacity. And you guys do know, all signs point to Ghostface. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. I know a lot of you guys were sending me this tweet and saying, did you see this? Ghostface is probably confirmed now. And I do think you're right. I do think this pretty much confirms the leaks are real. And unless some legal issue happens, I do think we'll be seeing Ghostface in about a year in Mortal Kombat Uno. So if you guys enjoyed this, take a second, drop a like on it, of course. Let me know your thoughts on all of this. Out of all these, you know, horror icons, who do you think you'd want to see the most? Again, personally, I'm picking Michael. Then I'm probably picking Ghostface, then Hellraiser. 
kind of indifferent on Jigsaw and Chucky, but as cameo fighters, I think that would be cool. Of course, subscribe for some more MK content like this on the channel. Till next time, been your host, Ben Dynasty. You guys, please take care, stay safe. Massive shout out to today's sponsor. Check out Omni Heroes again, it'll be linked down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Yeah, I'm not superstitious, I'm counting all these racks I'll be steady, counting my digits